Hello, and welcome back to Red Neck Snack Review Reviews. I'm not going to try and waste your time too much on this, but uh, it's the one review I'm doing today. I'm thinking that I should start doing multiple reviews in a day because I've got so much stuff and I need to review it. So if I ever, you know, find the time, I will be doing multiple reviews in a day again. But anyways, um, for about a week, Walgreens has been doing these limited time exclusive Pringles, uh, they're sweet corn flavored. I just, I, I just don't get it. Sweet corn has been one of the trendy, popular, um, flavors, um, to make for chips and other products. There, and I love sweet corn. I love street corn. Um, you know, I love sweet corn, street corn, all that mess. I just feel like it's a very weird chip flavor to take in. But a lot of people, I guess, like it if all these companies do it. Um, Utz has a flavor. I did not see it. I was at Publix. I got the cheeseburger flavor, and I'm thinking about doing a review for those. I'll be back at the Outer Banks not too long from now. So the plan is to um, go back to Publix and see if they've got those chips. But, yeah, um, sweet corn and then sweet street-style corn has been a very popular trend. And the first time I had it, I was fine with it, you know. But after the fifth or sixth time, it gets a little bit annoying. Um, I, I, I could eat a ear of street corn, street-style corn, every single day for the rest of my life. But chips, I just... It's kind of hard to deal with it having that flavor after a while. So, but I usually give these things high ratings because they're accurate. And so, and they're enjoyable for a little bit. But, you know, now what all this exclusive stuff gets me to think is how smart it would be to release. And... The stores have already done this with the pandemic when people need to go there. They're releasing these limited edition stuff anyways and these new products anyways because they can sell them. Um, what I was thinking would be smart, just like with 7... What, and I know this is random. Just like with what 7-Eleven did, not only do you capitalize on selling one exclusive limited edition product, but you capitalize by releasing your own stuff. That's interesting. So like with 7-Eleven, you had um, them be the first ones to do Dunkaroos. And alongside the Dunkaroos, they put out Kinder Eggs. And I know a lot of people might not have noticed this. They put out Kinder Eggs with Minion-themed stuff in it. And then they put out their own Reese Cups, their own new versions of Reese Cups. They got two of them, um, Peanut Butter and Jelly and Caramel. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to do a review for that. I need to go ahead and do that. But probably tomorrow. I'll probably do that tomorrow. But um, these places would be smart. And so I can picture them. Obviously, these pharmacy places are going to come out with some limited edition food and stuff around the time we get um, the new vaccine for corona. Whenever we get that um I can definitely see them capitalizing on that with some more limited edition flavors. Who knows what it'll be, but Walgreens has been doing some interesting things. They, I, I still am yet to review the rose dusted um, kettle corn, uh, boom chicka pop. So Walgreens has been, and see Walgreens is doing smart. Two exclusive products at the same time. Aldi's is always releasing a slew of things at one time um they i don't know if the minion cookies are exclusive to aldi's the pillsbury minion cookies but if they're not their aldi's was still the first one to do it and therefore you know they've been releasing a lot of when i walked in all of these i that's not the only thing i walked out with i walked out with some pasta some interesting looking pasta so they always come out with different things and i think most stores do that they don't just release one thing. They try to release a lot. But uh, that's that's a smart playbook to do that. And I know that's just a little bit random for me to talk about. But I just wanted y'all to know. 
that that's what these stores do. So I will be doing the the Seven Eleven review sooner or later. I I got I gotta go to Seven Eleven again to look for that blueberry white chocolate drink that they got. Um, and then I gotta review the rose dusted popcorn. But everything will come to fruition. I just got a lot of stuff. Um. In my playbook, as they have a lot of things in their playbook. My dog, she's begging to be let in. So let's proceed to do this, finish this review, do it, finish it, and then I'll go let my dog in, even though I should get up right now. I'm doing a review, guys, so I can't really stop. So, anyways, um, this can just looks a little more, less filled. You can see that I'm a bit surprised. Well, there's actually some knocked over, but. I don't know how many that counts for, but still, I don't know. But, uh, I mean, as usual, they promise, like, a hundred chips, so I'm not going to complain. Anyways, let's, let's finish this up. Let's try these. Pringles has always got interesting flavors. Now we go again. They just nailed it. You are hit right with it. I have not had a sweet corn slash street corn flavor that has not gotten it right on the head. And as I said, it feels weird. It gets weird. It gets a little annoying. It's not annoying right now, but... Man. I would say it's a little bit weaker than the others. Pringles, that's pr pretty much what they do. Is it's got a little bit of flavor, and then it just dies off with the the sodium, the amount of sodium on there, about salt. Um, man, it's good. The other thing that Pringles does is. They don't really add a color to most of their chips. They're usually the same color chips. It's pretty much invisible. I mean, I like them. When I say they're perfect, no. Um... Could have a little bit more flavor. So with that, I give them a seven and a half. But you 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 get the exact flavor of of sweet corn. And I know a lot of people just get weirded out by it and they're not a fan, but I personally like it. Um I could quite likely eat the whole thing. I like the color of this. Um, it's not quite reminiscent of like what an ear of corn would look like, like the outside ear of corn. But I like the color. Um, I think I have a. I think I have been looking for a T-shirt this color, and I found one. And so I've been rocking it. Um, when I wear it. But yeah, um, these are these are good, and I can't really stop eating them. Um, but yeah, I, it's hard to like give you a big full description of what they're like. All I can tell you is it's got a good hint of sweet corn flavor. There's a picture of butter on here. I don't really think I taste a lot of butter. Maybe a little bit. But it's good. So I recommend them. If your food line, not food line, if your Walgreens is good, if they keep up the date with things, if they don't suck, make a run and uh, go ahead and get them. Um, I had to go by the ones in the Outer Banks. I, I, we have two of them in Suffolk, and then we got one down the road in Southampton, in Franklin. None of them had these. None of them had the rose-dusted 
Kettle Corn. I got so angry. But that's that's a whole nother story that I don't need to be going on about. So that's all I got for y'all. I forgot to say it at the beginning of the video, so I'll say it right now. Please give this video a like, comment, and share. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And check out my Instagram, Redneck Snack and Food. And I hope you didn't laugh too hard at these glasses, because I think they're women's. So I just grabbed what I could. Anyways, I will see y'all around. And uh, that's it. Yeah!